Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Fruity Craft here, aka History, and today I have a series, new series that I'm starting. It's basically going to be showing you guys how to start your own Minecraft faction server, and you will need a budget for this, guys. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, first off, what we're going to be doing first, the very first thing you need to do is you need to have a set budget for your server. I suggest having at least five hundred dollars, uh, minimum at least $500 minimum to spend on your server and that is on everything custom plugins uh advertisements uh server host domain um bycraft engine all of that you don't even need to use engine you could have your own server once you have your domain you could buy a server a shared hosting and you could create your own website using the domain so uh yeah First off, what we're going to be doing though is we are going to be showing you guys how to uh, set up your server host, how to get your, in this episode basically, sorry about that, in this episode what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you guys how to set up your server host with your domain and what server host I prefer and um, yeah, stuff like that. So basically once you have your budget, if you have a really nice budget, you're going to want to go to plans. Uh, I'm going to have a link in the description, but once you're on this, you're going to see Minecraft, and then, yeah. If you have a really good budget, I prefer doing premium, and then, once you have premium, I suggest doing 14 or 12 gigabytes of RAM. As you can see, it's a bit pricey per month, but, yeah. But for now, I guess right now, you could have, uh, like, about at least, like, 4 gigabytes of RAM. And that will um, basically allow you to set up. That will allow you to set up your server before you actually launch the server. So right when you launch the server, you could buy a better hosting, not better hosting, but like upgrade it and stuff. So once you upgrade it, then you will be good. But I started off with two gigabytes of RAM on the budget server, so it only costs four dollars a month. Right now, currently, I am using budget. I am using budget right now. And I started off with this right here, $4 a month. And this is basically what I use to create the server, configure all of my plugins. Um, basically, right now, I'm using this as my dev server. And then this is what we use as our main. So, yeah. Once you have this, once you purchase it and stuff, I highly suggest that you guys use purchase a dedicated IP with your server. Basically, what this allows you to do is make it so they don't have to put the port at the end of the server IP. So, it makes it look very professional. Um, once you purchase it, you're going to have to go to, you're going to have to sign into your account. Go to client area. Go to open ticket. Or right here, it says open new ticket. Then, you're going to want to go to billing account issues. And then, you're going to want to do subject, something like this. This is what I did, and then you go to high, and then you select the server, and then you just tell them basically you need your dedicated IP. They will get back to you ASAP. They got back to me within like an hour. They gave me my dedicated IP. So once you have your dedicated IP, what you're going to want to do is go to services, my services, and then you're going to click my details, get the multicraft login details, then you're going to want to go to access, multicraft. And then it will bring you to the Multicraft login. And yeah, once you do that, you should have see something like this. Once you have your dedicated IP, your port should be 25565. That means that you have a dedicated IP. What you're going to want to do now to get your domain hooked up with your IP so they can log in using play.raptorfactions.us, something like that. What you're going to want to do is copy your IP like that. Control C, Control V is how I copy and paste. So Control C to copy. Go to a domain website that of your choice. I prefer Namecheap. They have cheap domains and you pay every year. So I bought my domain for a year for only 88 cents. So what you're going to want to do now is go to um, Dashboard. If you're on here, you're going to log in. Go to Dashboard. Then you're going to want to go to Domain List. Once you are here on domain list, you are going to want to go to manage. This is pretty much on any domain website you're doing. Just get to your domain, go to manage your domain, 
go to advanced DNS settings of that sort and then yeah let's just let this load right here alright so right here I have my dev server and I have my main server hooked up to it so my dev what you're gonna wanna do is go to new record you're gonna wanna go to a record for the host this is what you're gonna wanna put if you wanna do like play dot then your domain um, basically I have play dot right there right here I'm going to put MC so that means that they're gonna be connecting use, using mc.raptorfactions.us then IP address you're gonna wanna paste your IP and it is simple just like that then you're gonna wanna save changes then yeah it should be set up so I have my minecraft closed right now but basically now if I were going to try to connect to my server it would allow me to connect to the server using mc.raptorfactions.us because my domain is raptorfactions.us so my dev server is dev.raptorfactions.us and my main is play.raptorfactions.us um yes so I'm just gonna delete this because we don't really need it uh delete record yes Alright, so basically that has been the first episode or the first part of this how to make a server video. This is basically something very simple, how to set up your custom domain, stuff like that. Anyway, hope to see you guys on part two of the series. It's been your boy Foodcraft, aka History, and I'm out. Peace.